What's going on everybody? Jonathan Ryan here from Passion Built. It's another beautiful day out here in Sunshiny, Florida. I'm at my other local auto salvage yard for round two of Junkyard Adventures. Um, I'm picking up a not really exciting mod, which is a bug deflector. Uh, it's something that I've wanted to buy for a little bit, but it's like $60 and I'm not gonna pay $60 for a piece of plastic and I think my local auto salvage yard would only charge a few bucks for it. But anyway, it's something that helps significantly if you live in the state of Florida with our garbage ass highways. Um, a lot of cars pick up rocks, pebbles, and fling them at you and usually it'll either nick up the front of your hood or your windshield. So this is something that will protect the front of my hood as well as cover up a small dent that I have due to hitting a duck that decided to cross the road at the wrong time of day. So rest in peace, ducky. I apologize. But anyway, I'm going to head out to the yard right now and I will see you guys in there. <laughs> So the oddest thing just happened to me. Um, I tried going into the junkyard with my GoPro and I had it clipped on to the wheelbarrow and the guy saw my camera and he's like, hey, you can't bring that in here. And I was like, okay, so I just threw it in the bag and tried to like proceed and like, I guess the manager came out he's like, hey, put that camera back in your car. I've never been told at a junkyard to like not film. So really weird, but uh, I'm out here just putting my microphone and clip and everything that's accessory that make this camera big in the truck acting like I'm putting it away but we're gonna stick the camera in the junkyard anyway so I'm gonna put this in my pants just in case they try to search me and I will see you guys in the junkyard <laughs> Since they're being really adamant about me not filming here, like I said, I snuck the camera into the junkyard and I'm just gonna get this bug deflector pulled off. So I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna leave the camera tucked in a little corner right there. Um, this is the bug deflector up here. I do see that it does have one broken mounting point, but the other ones seem to be holding it in place. So we're gonna go ahead and get it pulled off and uh, yeah, let's get started. Quick tip, if you ever have like a broken piece of plastic or something on the part that you're removing, how you doing? Yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, quick tip, if you ever have a piece of plastic that is broken. Plastic can sometimes be mended back together, especially if it broke off on a clean break. So always uh, try to take that additional piece with you so and then you can make the set complete again. <laughs> so I'm in the trailblazer that I got the uh, that little uh, deflector off of and I'm trying to get this glove box out and uh, yeah I think there's one of the uh, LKQ sales associates following me around I've literally seen this old guy that's too well dressed to be at a junkyard like literally just staring at me from 10 15 20 feet away made eye contact like twice and then he just disappeared and then out of nowhere here he is again just sipping on his coffee just staring at me making me feel uncomfortable i don't like this lkq daytona lkq orlando's nicer they don't bother me or tell me i can't bring my cameras into the junkyard they actually encourage it anyway i'm gonna get this glove box uh, glove box latch off and once i get this off i'm gonna go ahead and pay out and get out of here so i'll see you guys in the car Alrighty, so today's grand total was $12.35 um, for the bug deflector that I primarily came here for. I only paid $6 for it online. I think the cheapest one that I found was like $40 to $47, something like that. And they ranged up to like $60 and up. So um, 
really not too bad. I'm that's a big savings for me. It only had one damaged mounting point on it, so that's nothing that a washer can't fix. Um, other than that, I paid five dollars for a door lock cylinder, which is for my glove box because unfortunately someone pulled on it a little too hard when it was locked one day and it caused this crack in it so that needed to be replaced because it was no longer holding tight so anyway um i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it was so short um like i said i kind of got cut short by lkq's management they did not want me filming on the premises but i got a little bit of content in there for you guys hope you guys are staying sane during this whole quarantine ordeal and uh, until the next one i'll see you guys then peace so a little bonus content if you guys have made it this far along in the video. This is my 2003 Chevy Trailblazer and before I actually had this brush guard set up, I had an incident where it was a foggy and dark night and a duck was chilling in the middle of the road and uh, I did not see him until I was probably like this close to him and uh, he jumped up in the air and my hood ended up getting him and smashed right there. So. Um, that's the dent and the damage from the duck rest in peace ducky but I got the bug deflector from the junkyard and I think that the bug deflector will cover that up perfectly so let's see how well it covers it up